heritage that is passed down from generation to generation. A set of beliefs and traditions that connects a new breed with its ancestors. Heritage enables you to honor your past and to acknowledge the reputation your forebears strove to build. Heritage stands behind you. It informs you. It motivates you to achieve. Our heritage is what makes American La France the company it is today. Recently, part of our heritage in the form of 18 antique fire engines were hidden away in a large and dusty warehouse in Statesville, North Carolina. We decided that was not a fitting home for these precious relics of the past and decided to do something right away. The American La France Fire Educational Center Museum of North Charleston was the answer. First, this unique museum was built with a special custom fitted place for each engine. Next, all of the engines had to be moved from Statesville to North Charleston. This task was assigned to Karen Hong. She had to find a crew that was familiar with these engines, a crew that knew how to take care of them every step along the way, from the loading to the 275 mile journey to being placed in their new home. She found a crew that not only loved these proud fire engines of the past, but who also restores them. To add to the beauty of this run, they also brought along antique hauling rigs to move this precious cargo. There was not a single breakdown on the whole trip. First came the loading. Some engines could be driven right onto the rigs. Others had to be pushed. Tying them down in the right way was critical. They didn't want to lose any of this precious cargo. You could almost see the relief on the grills of these heroes of the past as they were getting ready for another trip on the road. At sunset, the loading was done, and they were being stored away in the warehouses for the last time. While the moon was still up the next morning, this expert crew started to work. First item, check the tie down of each engine to be sure they still had it at the end of the journey. Then, start the engines at sunrise, and start pulling out of the warehouses for the last time. As you can see, some new rigs from the local area had to be recruited to be sure there was plenty of room for each engine. Now, this convoy of American La France's past was heading off into the sunrise toward their luxurious new home in North Charleston, South Carolina. These colorful engines made a beautiful contrast against the morning sky while rolling through the hillsides of North Carolina. Next stop, filling up with fuel to be sure everyone made it all the way. Now we're on the interstate. It won't be long now. Next landmark, welcome to the state of South Carolina. Here we got a special welcome, an escort from the South Carolina Highway Patrol front and back. We pulled into a rest stop to give everyone a breather and to realign the convoy for the highway patrol. Time to hit the road again. Traffic in the left lane almost came to a standstill as everyone would look at each fire engine as they drove by. Looking down on this convoy, it looks as though it goes on for miles.
Look at this welcome home celebration. When the engines arrived at their new homes, the streets were lined with well-wishers of all ages. Look at these expert truckers swinging into the fire museum parking lots. Now for the offloading. As each engine was offloaded, it got a long-awaited bath. The museum curator, Captain Grant Michu, got so excited, he pitched right in to clean up his long-awaited stars of the museum. Now for some expert driving and pushing. Each engine had to be driven or pushed into their long-awaited spot, designed especially for them. Ah, it's good to be home. Then each one got an extreme going over to fix any flats, oil leaks, or be shined up to welcome the new guest on opening day. They even got a placard in front to identify their year of origin and a short history. They're ready for opening day. <laughs> 